It was really a fun match, and I, the 12th man coming out and supporting us the way they did this late at night, it was loud. I, I couldn't even hear my coaches on the bench hardly. It was so much fun to have that in Reed Arena, and it's, uh, we credit the 12th man for, for the, many of the points that we were able to score. Um, you know, the team really had to just to just grind it out. You know, it, this time of year you can you can have some pretty it, teams know each other really well, and so um, sometimes they stop you pretty easily, and you have to find other options. And I thought our team did that really, really well. Um, I, I see our team improving, especially defensively. We're digging some balls that we were not digging even two, three weeks ago, and uh, that's that's really a lot of heart. And uh, and so. I don't know, I thought Gabby Litwin had a f fantastic match today um, in the middle back especially and when we had her in the serve receive they started going at her and she just really held her own and did a beautiful job to, to be able to let our offense do what it does. Yeah, it was a great team win. It was so much fun to have the 12th man here on at this game. You know, they stayed loud the whole set. They um, We used momentum to our advantage, and we really dominated tonight. Yeah. Um, it's just the confidence the team has. You know, in practice, we're working our butts off. We, You can tell that we kind of have a little thing about us. We get on the court, and we're especially because we're at home, we're like, we're going to win. We can't. We, like, the 12th man helps us so much. They don't, I don't think they realize how much they help us. They really do. With them being loud, the other teams aren't used to it. It's so loud. It was amazing. It was so fun to mess with the other team and to really get under their skin and to make them think more out there and just to play our game and stay calm and collected. It's awesome. We are so thankful. And with the core that they come out, they're just so loud. And it, it really helps. It whenever Because the other team, they're not used to that. They're probably not used to 800 students coming to matches. Um, but we are very thankful for them, and we need them to keep coming, especially on Sunday. Oh, that match with Florida Sunday at 1 o'clock is going to be – well, first of all, it's Shelby Sullivan and Angela Loex last home matches uh, at regular season. And those two have put so much into this program over the last four years. It's, it's pretty hard to match. Uh, I can't think of a whole lot of players that have invested what these two have invested, uh, not only in the volleyball program, but in the community and in the university. And uh, so to honor them is just going to be a, a real, a real proud moment for their families and for us and the, our team, their teammates. And then to get to play uh, one of the top teams in the country, you know, Florida, they're, they're amazingly talented. They have some phenomenal athletes and it's, it's an honor to get to play at that level. And it may, it, hopefully it will make our team, it'll rise our level as well, raise our level as well. Um, and I know my team will be ready. They have nothing to lose. They're going to just go for it. And um, I, I expect it's going to be a, a great match.